What is up guys? Today we're starting off in the hospital. Christy's here. Uh, she's went into labor. Um, so today's video is going to be a little different. I didn't bring my laptop. I'm going to edit it on my phone because right now it's just a waiting game. Uh, so we got to wait for uh, God knows how long. But uh, just pray for us. Keep hearing your thoughts and prayers and we appreciate it. And uh, just enjoy today's video. What is up, guys? Back here at Lower Mount for uh, another video. Um, been been very busy. This thing's poking me in the back. Uh, we've been very. I've been very busy. Uh, last week, all I was off. Uh, Build a uh, walk-in pantry for my wife. crap ton of meetings this week so far i've been off you know we've had doctor's appointments galore um i've had meetings got more meetings throughout the whole rest of the week um baby may come soon we don't know uh, my wife's dilated to five centimeters um so they call it what was it pre or latent labor so once she dilates to six they consider that active labor so that's really why i've not really been putting out a bunch of content um content should start getting interesting pretty soon um, that's the most i'm going to say on that uh, but right here i've got some parts um, that i've got to go through here uh, and i figured i'd unbox them with y'all which i've already unboxed them but you know i don't need this i need my bucket we're going to do this a change out video today but anyways I have two uh, two of these computer boards for my top load washers rebuilt um, I don't know if you can see where they repaired it or not not on this one I believe you can see it on this one yeah you see the burnt trace right here they just come in and put a new wire under there um, which, you know, in the future, I may end up doing the same thing because that's really the only repair they made on the entire board. It has two burnt traces, uh, but they got that fixed. So there's them two computer boards. Uh, got a $14 pack of batteries. Uh, I've got a, just a couple things, and I always buy DRSL, especially, you know, if it's for the laundromat. Um, it's tax deductible. So, you know, I've got my keypads dead and it's uh, this uh, four AA operating my um, my motion activated sink. So, um, and thanks to a viewer. Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. I was gonna look before I started this video, but uh, I don't wanna end the video to start it. But um, uh, I'll, I'll try to make sure to include your name and your comment on the uh, video so um, that you get credit for this. But the other day I was talking about um, the second top load. Uh, it will spin out, but it won't um, spin back and forth. And this gentleman um, posted up the two part numbers that I would need and everything he posted up made a lot of sense. And I really couldn't find much literature on it. So I'm, I'm going into it blind. Um, unless one of y'all's already done this before, but I've got two quarts uh, or one quart of um, transmission fluid, 24 ounces, uh, Speed Queen gear lubricant. lubricant. Uh, the stuff was, I think, 40 bucks, a little expensive. Um, and I got the transmission rack. So from my understanding, this is the part that's wrong, that's messed up. And it makes complete sense that it may be broken because I mean, that's a chunk of steel right there. So I'm excited to get into there and tear into that and see what's up with it. Um, 
that's going to be pretty interesting um, just to really see if we can do it. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of videos on my tear down and rebuild of the other washer. I had plans, and I probably included this in that video, and in included that in this video. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't get to um, I didn't get to record all of that mainly because you know most of y'all's already seen that. I, I featured that on my channel a couple of times, but also I had plans on just making a little time lapse with that camera I have in the back, um, but I couldn't get it to work, and then you know. I was going to, I decided I'll just download the footage from my security cameras. Couldn't get that downloaded for some reason. And then after that, I completely forgot about it. And that that's two weeks gone. So that, uh, that footage is gone. So unfortunately I didn't get that, but, uh, it's back up and running, uh, running pretty good. Um, but we're going to fix the simply safe, fill up the, uh, gain on the soap machine, and then I'm going to do a change out. So, uh, let's get to it. I don't know if you all have ever seen this, but I've got it mounted right here on the back of the door. Pop it off. Um, and I'm curious, I've never had, the batteries have never been dead, so I'm really curious how that go, how that's gonna go, so. But we've had this security system for over a year now. This is the first time changing the batteries. And I mean, I'm in here every day opening this up, so it's coming on every day and running. Um, we shall see. I'm really surprised that, I don't know, it didn't have a built-in lithium battery, but it makes sense that it doesn't. It'd be nice if it, you know, could plug up to a USB-C or something like that. Or a mini micro USB is what I mean, sorry. Now, let's see what she does. I think this is the first time I've booted it up since I've had the system, I think. Office 2, safe, and the office is open, so she working. I just, uh, it clicks right back there on the base, and she good. Nope. We'll put that there, put all her parts back up, and then we're going to do a change out here. You know, surprisingly, um, this thing having a bill collector or a uh, bill validator that can take ones and fives, I'm still getting quite a bit of curl and quarters circulated through it. Um, I think I took $130 off of it last week in quarters. So, um, still going and getting quite a bit of quarters circulated through it. I was really hoping that it'd be dollar bills, but. Definitely, uh, definitely very happy with it and how things turned out on it. Still got a little bit of work to do, but like I said, I have been busy. Uh, a lot of changes taking place in our lives. Just taking it, uh, taking it as it comes, and trying to, you know, stay on top of things. What I do like about this vending machine a lot is, whoops, the fact that it has all that storage underneath it makes it a lot easier. Um, let's see what the bill collector has in it. Uh, just four one dollar bills. Yep. And 
and see what I'm talking about. Uh, very excited for this month to really, you know, end. Uh, I've got a baby, oh, sorry, can't hear me. Uh, but I've got a baby coming. Um, got some other things in the works. And uh, this is, uh, this month is on track to be our best month ever. So um, I really hope uh, the year continues like this. Um, the Lord is sure blessing us and I do appreciate it. change these carts out for a quieter, a quieter one. Uh, I found a place to buy some wheels online. So I'm going to buy some wheels. Uh, I'm going to buy some wheels pretty soon. Um, to start replacing these. Uh, I really like to find some black carts. Um, I think black is, black carts would be very sleek. But, uh, some changes we're looking to make here, uh, just to bring y'all up to speed on everything. Some changes we're looking to make here, uh, like we said before, we're gonna start replacing the top loaders. Can't tell you when that's gonna be, um, but here soon I'm gonna redo the bathroom. And when I do, I'm gonna go ahead and raise my top loaders, I think, to, uh, to, to 275. Um, you know, they're getting quite a bit of use. And, um, We've been due for a uh, price raise on them for quite some time, but uh, like I've said in previous videos, I like to have an excuse to raise my prices. Um, just to, you know, uh, just to have an excuse. I know that sounds silly. It may sound silly earlier yet, but, um, which we've really had no, actually I've had zero complaints about my raising my horizons. Uh, if anything, it seems like they've been being used more. Uh, so, and we're fixing to, we're fixing to look and see how many times this has been used this week or this uh, past couple days. So I, mean, uh, I don't know, part of me gets happy when it's used a lot and part of me is like, you know, gets happy when it's not used a lot. I have a, uh, a funny relationships with these uh, Horizons. Um, which I've been talking to a gentleman uh, who have bought a lot of Horizons. He's very happy with them. He claims that the gravity drain is better. Unfortunately on this wall, without completely redoing it, I don't believe there's a way to have gravity drain. I do have an idea that I want to, you know, proceed with in the future. Uh, there's a company that makes those uh, Built to length um, poly, uh, what is it? Polyethylene um, uh, troughs. They're sealed troughs. Um, you can cut holes in them, you know, where you need to. Uh, the drains, you know, it's got a built-in trap, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, but that would have been ideal for this back wall here and will be ideal for this back wall from just going here to here. A good, what, uh, 30 feet of trough. I have two coming into one because um, I've got a, I've got the right size pipe. Fortunately, when they did do this, they, uh, they cut in the right size pipe uh, the pipe here goes straight to the uh, straight to the um, to the uh, the city connection, so that's great. Um, I actually met the guy who did a lot of this work, um, and I wouldn't say that he rigs things; um, just wouldn't do it the way I would do it. And I think a lot of it is. Uh, Yeah, nope, I lost the key. Sorry. Um, a lot of it is, I think he just did what he had, what he had, you know? Um, that that not make a lot of sense. Uh, um, but there's, you know, I'd like to make some changes. Y'all are well aware of that if you've watched the videos for any time. I want to thank the influx of uh, uh, subscribers we had lately um, and those of you who have been subscribed for a while I really do appreciate it um, we're really fast tracking towards a thousand and that's just uh, that just blows my mind I never dreamed it I think last time I checked we're at uh, 639 so really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the videos, give them a thumbs up. Give them a, uh, give them a comment. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, it usually takes me a day, but I try to reply to every comment. But I've also heard that, you know, uh, I've heard other YouTube channels getting banned because they apply to, reply to every con uh, comment. Um, but you know, I've never got any strike. Actually, I've had one strike against me and that was a copyright. Uh, who knew the Star Spangled Banner was copyrighted? Um, but uh, you know, so far no no problems. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys, and like I said, uh, I'm really hoping if everything goes good, uh, there's fixing to be quite a bit of content, quite a bit of new content. So, I mean, if you want to take your guesses, you can you can leave your guesses down below uh, what's going on. Yeah, I'm not going to say until anything's official. Uh, so, just, you know, make sure you subscribe. Turn the bell notification on. Can't promise you when it will be, if it'll be. But if it is, you know, one day it's just going to pop up, you know. I might not even address it. Just leave it to you guys to figure it out. Maybe it'll be obvious, but you know. It'll really be fitting for the channel. Um, there, I fixed it. So, uh, still be laundry mat content. Not going away from that. I know a lot of y'all are subscribed for that reason. Um, a lot of y'all are new time investors. A lot of, some of y'all are seasoned veterans. I really do appreciate everybody. It has been a slower weekend here, but still. Still quite steady week. So far every machine but one has been used, so.
Someone commented on my video not too long ago asking me if it'd be quicker for me to open all the dryers or open them one by one. And honestly, I'm not sure yet. I never timed it, but I've just gotten myself in the habit just to open them. And since I've been using the bucket, just going by and doing one by one. Um, Go ahead and set the camera up. I'll go ahead and get this uh, rest of these dryers knocked out. Um, and I'm going to throw everything in the change machine once I count it. Uh, well, let's get to it. So my landlord did tell me the other day that everything in this shopping center is now uh, now rented out. Um, so I should see quite a bit of traffic now, um, which is you know only a plus for the business. But I still got to run some. I'm going to run some Facebook ads and stuff like that just to you know maybe stock a few more people in here. I've got to figure out Google Maps for some reason. Google Maps will not direct towards us. They take people down the wrong road. Um, I had a gentleman the other day say that he could not find the place. Had messaged us before, uh, like a year, a couple years ago. Couldn't, they couldn't find us. So, I mean, we're really not that hard to find at all. Um, but I guess those GP reliant people, um, it's, uh, it takes them, uh, or it takes them down some other road uh, that's right behind us, and they can't quite figure out where we're at. So,
Well, that's it for today. I'm going to get everything here took care of. Um, thank you for watching. God bless. Stick around. Make sure you subscribe, comment. Uh, there's going to be a lot of content coming shortly. So thanks and God bless.